Mumbai, the commercial capital of India, has an extensive suburban rail system that enables cost-effective travel for its residents. Air-conditioned trains, which were once introduced a few years ago, have recently seen a sharp growth in popularity. Vyond's Disha Shah tells us the reason for the recent success of Mumbai's AC trains. Take a look. The Mumbai local trains are called the lifeline of the city, with approximately 8 to 9 lakh people relying on these services every single day, either to go to work or any other destination at one point in time. But today we are here going to talk about the AC locals here in Mumbai. They are the talk of the town today. The services that were started approximately five years ago is now finally seeing the light of the day. In the year 2017, India saw its first and only AC local suburban train service in Mumbai. Three years later, in the year 2020, Central and Western Railways added four AC locals each to give Mumbai cars a comfortable and cool ride. But the commuter response received was poor. The reason is high ticket fares. It was almost 1.3 times more than the non-AC local first class ticket. Commuters demanded a reduction in the ticket fares. And two years later, the railway ministry announced that ticket fares for a single journey would be reduced by 50% starting May 5, 2022. It is very comfortable ride, especially keeping in mind Mumbai heat. After fares were reduced, now it has become affordable to travel and convenient too. The heat has helped a lot. One. Second, uh, the daily commuting prices have come down. The daily fare tickets have come down to 95 rupees. That have contributed a lot. And uh, obviously the good, well-maintained Timings are better. I mean, it's usually not late. That has helped. So, better experience for Mumbai car for sure. Uh, I would, I would need more such train to run at least in peak hours. And with that, the number of passengers has increased manifold. In April, Central Railway saw close to six lakh passengers, which, after the reduction in fare, has gone up to nine lakh in May. And for Western Railway, passenger count went up from 6.6 .6 lakh to over 10 lakh. Earlier in an AC local, a commuter had to pay rupees 65 for a 5-kilometer single journey, which has now been reduced to rupees 35. Similarly, if it's a 56-kilometer journey, a commuter now will have to pay rupees 105 as against rupees 210 before. After the ticket prices were reduced, we saw at least 65% growth in the commuter ridership. Earlier, we saw that about 40,000 passengers used to travel on a daily basis in an AC local train, which has now directly shot up to 80, 85,000. And seeing the rising demand, now Central Railway plans to add one more AC local train soon. We will try to introduce this on mainline section because there is demand on mainline section and all the services that we have uh, started are on mainline and we will try to fill up this gap on mainline especially during the peak hours. The MRVC is coordinating with railway board uh, officials to get more ACMU rigs uh, for Mumbai cars. It is at a tendering stage at the moment. Around 88 AC local train services are operated by Central and Western Railways on a daily basis. However, due to the high fares, the trains would mostly run empty. But after meeting commuters' expectations, it certainly seems that the fortune of AC locals in Mumbai is changing. Beyond World is One is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news updates on the move.